In this video, I'm going to show you how to lock specific cells from being edited in Google Sheets. So if you want to go and restrict certain parts of your sheets from being edited to prevent accidental changes, then what we need to do is first select the part of the sheet that you want to go and restrict. So let's say I wanted to restrict this data here. Then when we have this selected, we can click on data in the top navigation and click on protect sheets and ranges. Now you can go and give this an optional description. So I'm just going to call this locked data and also make sure you have the correct range selected. So this is what we have highlighted and press set permissions. Now, if this is a shared document and you want to restrict certain people from coming in editing this part, then we can click on restrict who can edit this range and you can make it so only yourself is able to edit these particular cells. You can also choose custom from the drop down menu and you can go and select the specific contacts that you want to be able to edit this document. Now, if you just want to restrict everyone from editing it, including yourself, and this is a good way to prevent accidental changes, then we can click on show a warning when editing this range and press done. And now what's going to happen is when I go and click on one of these cells and try editing it, you'll see we get this warning pop up saying we're trying to edit a part of the sheet that shouldn't be changed accidentally. So you can also go and restrict the entire sheet as well just by coming back over to data, clicking on protect sheets and ranges, and we can just select sheet from the list here and go and restrict the entire sheet. So click on set permissions. And then once again, you can decide whether to restrict certain people from editing this or you could just go and lock the entire document by clicking this warning message here and it's as simple as that guys if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next